Welcome back, uh, Andrew Grecki, Doctor of Physical Therapy, owner of Superior Physical Therapy, and we're talking now about the study of the week. And so this study of the week has to do with hip pain, and from the American Journal of Sports uh, Science, we have a study that looked at thousands of people that had no pain in their hip, and they gave them an MRI. And what they found in the MRI was fascinating. 79% of those people that were given an MRI who had no pain, 79% had a defect in their hip joint. And those defects include labral tears, uh, cartilage defects, and osteoarthritis. So again, makes you question, are those the reasons we're having pain? Probably not. A second study, again, looking at thousands of people who have no pain, giving them MRI, uh, showed that 80% of people over the age of 63 have osteoarthritis in their hip, but no pain. So again, makes you kind of question it. You gotta use the scientific research to help us make decisions on what are, what is successful treatment. And that leads me to my final takeaway here, which is the Q&A section. A very common question that I get on a daily basis from people that are dealing with hip pain is, what is successful treatment for hip pain look like? And the answer is pretty simple. First of all, you already know by watching this show today that the cause of hip pain usually is not coming from the hip itself. It can, but it's also in the areas above and below the hip. So we need to look in other areas. And so that leads me to my point here, which is you have to find the problem first in order to find a solution, right? That's number one rule. You got to find the problem and uh, that's it. That's number one. And then, and then also, once you find the problem, successful treatment then is fixing the problem, right? So in this case, the problem is movement related. Earlier, you already said that movement makes you have more pain. So we need to fix the movement. So once we find the problem, the way to fix the movement, really simple, two things. One is hands-on, so hands-on physical therapy or manual therapy, getting your hands on somebody to help them change the motion. So if you identify that a foot is not moving well, we gotta get the hands on the foot and help the foot move better. And then combine that with what I call prescriptive exercise. So movements to change the motion. So whether it's flexibility or strength or both, we need hands-on physical therapy combined with prescriptive exercise, and that is the definition of successful treatment.